Hello and welcome to String Art. Today's String Art pattern is going to be the word dream and on the background we are going to draw a dream pattern. We are going to need a wooden base, a pencil, a ruler, paint, pliers, a hammer, a paintbrush, a compass, tape, a triangle D ring, nails, scissors, yarn, and the word dream. I've actually printed all the letters for the word that we're going to make, and I have all the letters of the word dream. Okay, so let's get started. My wooden base is 39 by 36 and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my triangle D ring and I'm going to place it in the middle right here on the edge of the wooden base and I'm going to take the small nails that is for the triangle D ring and my pliers and I'm going to put in the small nails on the triangle D ring. Now we are going to turn our wooden base on the right side up where we are going to make our art and we are going to take the pen, our pencil and we are going to draw a dot on the wooden base. Now we are going to take our compass, we are going to open it and we are going to place the point of the compass on the dot that we made and we are going to draw a circle. Now we're going to take our ruler, we're going to place it on the circle and on the dot and we're going to draw two lines on the edge of, on the end of the circle. And we're going to draw two more on this side. And two more And the last two. Now we have a circle and we divided it into eight different pieces. Now we're going to take our compass and we, we're going to place the point of the compass on the um, lines that we made that are on the circles and we're going to draw it doesn't really matter if uh, we draw the whole circles now. What we actually want is uh, half of the circles. Now we have a flower inside of the circle. You can't really see it right here on mine, but if you make it on yours, you will definitely see it. And we're going to take an eraser and we're going to erase the lines that are outside of our circle. Now we're going to draw three lines on the circle. One on the start, one in the middle, 
and one on the end. And we are going to draw three feathers, one feather on each line, on the end of each line, so we can uh, make the dream catcher. And these are the feathers. Now we're going to take a flat base. I'm going to take a small plate and the paint. And I'm going to paint my dream catcher black. And we're going to put the paint in on the plate. And we're going to use our paintbrush to paint the dream catcher. What we're going to do is actually paint the lines that we made not the inside of the dream catcher, only the lines and the flower.
now we're going to let our painting dry because if you put on the letters on the painting right now, uh, the painting is going to get destroyed. So we're going to let it dry. Now that the paint dried, we're going to take our pieces of paper that have the letters on them and we're going to cut out the outline of each letter with our scissors. Now that we cut out our letters, we're going to put them in order so they create the word dream. And we're going to tape them on the wooden base. Now that we take the word on the wooden base, we're going to take our nails and we're going to start putting them in uh, on the outline of the letters so we can form the word dream. I'm going to take my first nail, I'm going to start with the, with the letter D. And I'm going to take my next nail and I'm going to place it about one centimeter apart from the other one. We're going to repeat the same step for all of the letters until the word dream is formed. When we finish putting in all our nails uh, to form the word dream, we're going to take out the paper and the tape. When we finish putting in the nails on the wooden base and we form the word dream, we're going to take our yarn. I'm going to use a thin uh, gray yarn and we're going to take the end and we're going to make a knot on one of the nails. Now we're going to stretch the yarn and we're going to loop it on the next nail. And we're going to loop it and we're going to stretch it again and we're going to loop it on the next nail. We're going to do the same step until, uh, until we form the whole uh, word dream. But we're only going to do it on the outline of the word, on the letters. We're going to stretch the yarn, the yarn and we're going to loop it on the next nail. And what we're going to do next is we're going to stretch the yarn and on the D, where the circle is in the, um, in the middle of the D, we're going to stretch the yarn and we're going to loop it around all the nails that the circle make, makes on the, on the D. So we can form the letter D. But we're not going to stretch the yarn in the empty space right here. We're just going to loop it around the nails. Now that we came back to the beginning where we made our first knot, we're going to stretch the yarn and we're going to loop it around the nail that is across from the nail that we started at. This is the nail that we started at and we're going to stretch the yarn and we're going to loop it around the nail that is across from that one. And now we're going to stretch the yarn again and we're going to loop it on the on the nail that is across from this one. We want to do the same thing for the whole word and when we finish most of the empty parts uh, of the letters they're supposed to be with yarn. There, there's not supposed to be many empty spaces. Most of the part is supposed to be with yarn. And there's no specific pattern that we um, stretch and put the yarn around the nails. But we want to make sure that most of the part is yarn when we finish.
Now that we finished putting the yarn around the nails and we formed the word dream, we're going to cut our um, yarn on the end and we're going to make a knot on one of the nails. Now we are going to cut the end of the yarn, we're going to make it smaller and we are going to put the yarn under the other yarn from our letters so it doesn't stick out like this. We're going to do the same thing with the end and with the beginning of the yarn. And that was it. Our string art pattern is finished with a background, a dream catcher. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video, and don't forget to comment under the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.